Right, so sorry for the lack of videos recently. I had a big week last week, did 34 hours on a bike and an hour in the gym. And I just want to talk exclusively today about why I did that, because some people think maybe it's too much and all the rest of it. Now, we're going to go through mental reasons first, physiological reasons second. Now, number one is literally because I have the time to do it. Um, luckily, this year I will have enough money basically to ride full time, uh, which is really lucky. So I think I should make the most of it. Uh, and I don't want to have any regrets in like a year or two time if I'm obviously probably not gonna make a professional cyclist uh, Which is like mine maybe 0.001% chance of like oh I didn't train that hard So I thought need to make sure this year I trained super super hard uh, part two is actually Again, it's gonna make training easier if you can crack out stupid hours um, Then when you know you've got more intensity in the next couple months It's gonna feel easier because you just got less hours like now if I do a 25 hour week 10 hours less and the, the brain will be like okay that's not too bad and again mental toughness I think is something that in general I'm not great on like I think I am relatively soft uh, in a lot of ways and so I think by doing really kind of extreme in ex you know isn't really extreme but you know what I mean so there's stuff that isn't necessarily like in my comfort zone necessarily uh, is good because it means like in a race or whatever I'm sort of more chill and like okay it's fine um, so I did like last week, I did six hours on Monday, uh, sorry, five hours Monday, six hours Tuesday, day off Wednesday. Um, and then I had, uh, what did I have? Thursday I had six hours, Friday I had six hours, uh, Saturday, four hours, Sunday, seven hours. These were all done about 200 normalized, uh, which is about 65% of threshold ish. Um, my threshold is a bit lower than maybe it is just because um, when I took my test, I hadn't done much high intensity. So my sort of like my, my aerobic base, we can call it, is probably quite high compared to my threshold. Uh, but nonetheless, it wasn't too hard. I didn't have a heart rate monitor on because mine always break. I've got one now, so it'll be interesting to see the data. Um, but yeah, the last seven hours, it was like zero degrees or worse for most of that ride. A bit grim, but for the head, it's really good, I think, now. Um, I'm kind of really excited to do some training again. Uh, I've only had like a day off, but you know, I feel quite mentally not too fried. Um, and also hopefully, you know, three, four hours will be really, really chill now. Um, okay, so that's mainly mental reasons, which I think is a large reason why I did it. But obviously, physiologically, uh, there's a large reason why doing massive volume works. And I think for me personally, it's like always been, at least in my experience, when I've done more hours, I always feel better. Um, obviously there's a limit for a 50 hour week, like seven hours a day, seven days a week. I reckon I crack and wouldn't feel great, but I do think doing sort of steady zone two, uh, really does help a lot. Obviously it's not applicable for most people because most people can't commit 35 hour week, um, which I understand, but I think for me, it was a good time to do it just because I'd started training quite early. Um, I sort of went, did tour Serbia, came back, did a local race, um, and then had two weeks off. So then after that, you know, I started training properly, I mean, training, 1st of October. Um, so the first, like, three, four weeks were just, you know, getting back into it, you know, 15 hours a week, something like that. And then last two, three weeks, I did, like, 22, 24, 26 and a half, and then the, the big 34 last week. Um, I don't include gym in those numbers, but gym was between an hour and three hours a week, depending on how many sessions I do. Um, generally, I try and do two hour and a half sessions, but it kind of depends on, like, I hurt my back for a bit, so I had a week off the gym and, and things like that. But yeah, so I think physiologically it's going to really help just because the endurance gains do take a long time. You can't really spam it. Like, you know, if you want to get fit in four weeks, you just crack out 30, 15s left, right, and center, you'll be quick. Um, with the endurance gains, it's obviously more like it's not as it's more cellular, like the capillarization of your in your muscles. Like that takes time to make new capillaries. The mitochondrial density, again, that takes time. Uh, and so you can't really spam it, but I do think doing massive hours allows the body to handle more stress in the future. Um, and Niels van der Poel is one of the people who, when reading his article, which he wrote on how to skate 10K, which I've already done a video of, which I really, really like. Um, and also he did an interview with Steven Seiler um, with, alongside his coach, which was really interesting. And again, that was all about how like the aerobic part, he only does like 12 minute races, right? And how important the aerobic part is. And obviously races I'm planning on doing next year, a lot of stage races, especially UCI stage races, they're going to be quite long, you know, four days minimum, up to 10 days, some of them. So again, that's going to be really important to have a massive aerobic base. I think it's something that uh, is quite good to work on if you can. Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons I really hope that what will happen this week is obviously it's a rest week, you know, um, 
just not too many, uh, well, zero intensity. Um, I haven't done any intensity, I've just done gym and hours, uh, but only one gym session, not too hard, and um, less hours. So hopefully the body will recover, and then when I start doing tempo, it's gonna be some big, big gains, which I'm quite excited about, and the tempo block's gonna be very large. Um, but anyway, yeah, so those are sort of the reasons why I did such a big week. Um, I don't feel too bad about it at the moment. Um, I, it's obviously a big risk, but because it's quite early in the year, I don't think it's too much stress. Like, you know, if it blows up, let's say, and it's a disaster, okay, I can have two weeks off in December and it's not the end of the world. Um, obviously not ideal, but I do think in general, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll, I'll find out in a couple of weeks if it's done well, hopefully it will be okay. And I think generally whenever I have overreached like stupidly, uh, like I did in the summer, I might make a video about that because I was pretty cracked. It was just because I did too much intensity and didn't rest enough. So it's really important to rest as much as possible this week. Um, and then after that, hopefully it should be good. Um, I'm not working too much this week. I think only two shifts, so it's pretty chill. Um, and obviously YouTube and coaching is not too stressful on uh, on my sort of body or anything, which is quite nice. Um, and yeah, so my last point is going to be, um, I already mentioned him, Niels Vanderpol, but I plan to do a video where I copy his threshold training. He does 10 weeks of that. I'm probably not going to do 10 weeks because... I don't think that, well, I might do, but I think it's unlikely. I think I'm going to do two blocks of tempo or threshold. When he says threshold, he just means anything above LT1, like when your lactate starts to go up. So kind of sweet spot tempo-ish would be um, what he does. Uh, but anyway, he does like 25-hour week in five days because he does the five day on, two day off. And then he does about eight hours in, of tempo. So I'm going to try and recreate that. I think it should be possible. I generally find tempo, my body is quite happy doing. Um, and especially if the intensity is probably like 85% of threshold, it should be okay. Uh, but again, it's going to be quite interesting just to see. I'm going to use, sort of use it as a block periodization, probably start early January, do a big five days, and then, you know, definitely have some time off, uh, well, not time off, but just easier um, weeks afterwards to see how I adapt, because I'm not sure I could do the five day two, five day on, two day off um, ad infinitum, because I think I'd just crack. But you never know. Um, so yeah, that's my plan uh, in January, which I think I'll record and hopefully should be quite an interesting video i probably should have recorded this week but it's just so busy like it kind of sounds stupid but like doing 34 hours on the bike you don't have much time for anything else because you basically have to leave the house at seven and get back at like well plus six hours and then you always have an hour of waiting around um you don't get back till maybe two or three and then you're pretty cracked um and then you've got some other stuff to do and then before you know it, it's like basically time to go to bed again um but yeah i think hopefully 25 hour week should be more chill to film uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this bit. I should have some more videos coming out because I've got a lot more time this week um, to crack some out. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.